It's a beautiful day in Cape Town. My wife and I actually took a walk today and it was super refreshing. And I actually had an idea where I actually thought like, yo, today what am I gonna be doing? And I was like, yo, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't been around two of my exes, which are FL Studio and I'm a piano. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Hey, so I came back and I made this. You feel that, right? Listen to this, bro. So that's just the beginning of the track that I made today and it sounds super fire, but I'm gonna break it down for you to show you how I make, how I really made it and you know, how I put it together because I was super surprised. I was like, yo, can I even still make I'm a piano or, and can I even still use FL Studio? Although I've been using FL Studio for like over 10 to 15 years or something like that. And it was super crazy. So check this out. Okay, so this is how the project is looking like as you can see right here, right? So what's really weird is that I'm struggling to like get FL Studio from this screen to that big monitor here. I, I have no idea. If you use Mac and you've connected, you know, your FL Studio like this, if you know how you can get FL Studio from one screen to the other, let me know. I can easily do that with Logic, but it's, I'm finding it difficult to do it in FL Studio. But anyway, that's beside the point, right? So what I did first is I started with this loop right here, right? So it just sounds like this. So that's the loop that I started with. And then after that, I just uh, made some chords, right? So the plugin that I used here was a flex and I just opened up a flex and I just wanted to, you know, find something that's like a piano sound. So I used this E piano for life. That's what I played here. And I actually just played here on the, cause you see my MIDI keyboard is over here. So I just played with the computer keyboard here. And then I also layered with some crystal keys right there, right? So what I did with the crystal keys is I made the crystal keys strum a little bit. So this is the keys without the crystal keys. So without the crystal keys, the keys just sound like this. Just like that. So that's the notes right there. And what I did, I just added a morphine. And then if I put on the morphine, Okay, so I just had to connect my wireless mouse because it was glitching a little bit because I think it was out of battery. You can see it's charging right here. Amazing mouse, by the way. Anyway, back to the music. Okay, so what I did next is I threw in this sound right here. Just that sound there. And I just threw that in just like that. And it's playing right there. And then I also threw in some other sounds that I threw in here, which are on this pattern right here, this pattern right here, where there's all these sounds here, just to, you know, just add some nice percussions in there. And if you're looking for drum kits, I do have an Ama Piano drum kit that you can find in the link down below. If you want my own Ama Piano drum kits, you can find them in the link below. And I also have an Ama Piano Vox pack that you can also check out in the link below. But that's what I added into, into this track. So now it sounds like this. And then after that, I also throw in a kick. Hey, come on, come on, come on. And then I throw in a pad. I'm sure you can hear this pad. It's a pad that I found in Flex, right? It's a pad that's right here. So it's called a sweeping pad and I just I just found it in Flix. I just searched out pad and that's the one right there. It's called a sweep pad. This is a really cool pad that I throw in right there. I think I just need to trim out a little bit of these notes right here. But it's a really cool pad that I throw in just to hold down the whole track, right? So if I play the pad with everything, it sounds like this. I do have 
have this effect that I threw in right here, this effect drop that I added here that sounds like this. But here's how I process this effect here. I threw on a gross beat and a fruity flanges and a delay three just to make sure that, you know, it has an, some nice, you know, some nice sauce on it. So it sounds like this without the effect. It sounds just super boring. So with these effects turned on, it sounds like this. Now listen to this. sounds good bro that sounds sick that sounds super amazing that sounds super amazing also throw in this this sound here so and that's one of the sound that i also throw in here just those bongos there and then i also have another loop that i made here in the drum section here if i can play it just has this snare here. You can never go wrong with a snare, bro. You can never go wrong with a snare. And then after that, something that I also threw in was obviously a GMS. I had to throw in a GMS pattern right here. And I'm sure you can see it. It's right here. It plays like this. It's the classic D tune that I threw in right there. You can see it right there. But I also sent it to a mixer track like this. And then I also added a fruity flangus or flanges. I don't know what you call it. That's what it looks like. So it sounds like this without this plugin. It sounds like this. Okay, let me play it on its own as a pattern. And then with some flanger. Just to spread it out a little bit, you know, just to give it an, some nice spread, just to change the sound a little bit there. And then after that, then I threw in some bass. So now we can go into the bass, right? So let me just play the transition point right here. Okay, so what I did is I threw in a log drum and then I layered it with a sub. Right, so we have a sub and then we have a log drum. So this is what just the log drum itself sounds like, right? So it just sounds like this. It sounds super cool, bro, it sounds super cool. So let me show you the notes of the bass line. It's just a simple bass line here. Just simple notes right there, but you can tell that my bass line sounds sounds special because I added a little bit of some sauce onto the onto the log drum. I also added a fruity flanges as well, just like that. And I didn't even tweak anything. I just put it on there and then I just uh, kept it as it is. And then without it, it sounds like this. And then with it, it sounds like this sounds super cool right and then i also layered it with a fm sub by the way here are my log drum settings it looks like this you can see my log drum settings look like this so then here's my sub if i can turn it on boom after i turned it on it, it all sounds like this final touch that I added on here was this pattern here that I threw in that is like a Celeste. It's called a Celeste sound, which, which was just like a, you know, sprinkling something in there just to make everything sound special. So this is also a flex sound that I threw in here. 
you know, so it's just accenting the track nicely. It sounds like this. Hey, that sounds good, bro. So I added it around this section here, around this third section here. So it sounds like this. So that's the track that I made today, you know, I had to just hop back into FL Studio, hop back into Ama Piano since everybody is diving into Ama Piano these days. Also drop some likes on, on this video and if you want to subscribe, make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more content. The people who know know that I always drop content every week, so make sure to subscribe if you want to continue seeing videos. If you have any questions, if you've made some music today and you want to just say hello, make sure to drop a comment down below. But anyways, I'll see you in my next video. I'm X and I'm out. Peace.